Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Z-Bubble issues of the Algo Jupiter. I have seen in the forums that quite a lot of you are worried about the Z-axis wobbling. And while I think I mentioned it in my first look video, I also see the Z-axis wobbling about. I will put some uh, examples in front of you. And while I don't have any problems with the Z-axis wobbling and prints uh, misalignings, so you will be having some defects in your prints, or probably one side of the uh, print will be more stressed than the other side because the whole thing uh, wobbles about. Now, I personally don't experience any uh, problems with that, but I can imagine that if you uh, print the whole Z height, then you will start having problems because the things that I'm showing you right now are examples of the build plate still uh, at its first five layers so you can imagine that if you are printing on the top side of the z-axis that the uh, wobbling will be way worse than it is what you're seeing right now so i came up with a solution or i think i did i built this little uh, thingy that you can print in pla you can smack it right into this there are three holes in it i still have to put in some inserts and that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to turn on the soldering iron the design I made is going to use these M6 uh, heated inserts that you can find on Amazon. And these are the holes that are going to receive the inserts. There's a little part without threads and that's the first part that's going to get into the uh, printed object. So you want to put it on and be very careful. This is going to get very hot really fast. Then you're going to take your print and then you start pushing it in just like that until it's completely flush and then it should be looking something like this so the sides are not flush with the tubes the tubes are about one millimeter higher than the sides so we're going to take a ruler so we can get the perfect height of the pla insert i'm gonna start by tapping it in like this gonna check and like that this is at the perfect height now there's a little bit of space underneath and that is uh, to be able to put a screwdriver underneath that if you want to put the alleged uh, height extension kit that you can pull this out put that in now that is another thing that i don't understand is that they are thinking about putting a z height extender already with um, a z axis that is wobbly as it is i think that they have to do something better than that and that is why i think that there's no real announcement on any date on when the extension will come so i think they know that there's a problem with the uh, z axis wobbling about and that it's not a big issue but i think that if you especially if you're using very flat print surfaces and are using a very large volumes on the belt plate that you will start to notice with weak resin that will be some shifting going on. All right, so this is done. Now, one thing I forgot to do, so I have to yank it out again. I'm going to take some paper, trace around, cut it out, then use some double-sided tape very small pieces then double side tape the other side with bigger pieces so that when i put on the big sheet it will stay on the big sheet so that i have a nice marking on where to drill the holes for the bolts that i made over here this is the piece of paper that i used to trace uh, around the profile so i can measure it and put it in a 3d design now i'm going to use it to mark a template like this this is just so we can have an ID on where we want to drill our holes. We have our little template and I'm going to do a little dab over here and a little dab. Over there. just like that we have our markings now i'm going to put 
the tape on here on the spots that I really want to be on there and we have our template And if we did everything correctly, we should be able to put in some balls. The three balls are in. Before we are going to uh, fasten them, I'm going to put in all the little uh, screws that came with the lid. And then we're going to tie this down and test it with the new print. Right, it's in let's do a test print so this is the moment of truth are we going to see some flexing at first glance it looks like we solved it but I'm going to let the first layer cure this is the whole bill plate this time so we should see some flexing I think we can call this a fix all right so I'm gonna close the panel and we are going to look at this project on another day the print is done let's have a look Yeah, everything is fine. Well guys, that's gonna be it. We have another fix for the Z-Bubble issues. If you have recommendations or if you have some comments, then leave them down below. And guys, I see you in the next one.